Welcome to Hatman Strikes Back Daily Boxing News. There's a lot of jokes flying around on social media at the minute about what Anthony Joshua said to Ben Davison in the corner before the fifth round. AJ seemed to be looking for some reassurance in the midst of a torrid situation. So you heard them talking about warrior spirit and these are the moments we live for. And then Joshua, in reference to Daniel Dubois, said he shish. And of course, a minute or so later, he was face down on the canvas. So you can see why people find it funny. However, the irony here is that that comment was a reflection of the only thing that Joshua got right in this fight. And that was the defiant mindset that is necessary to keep your confidence high in a tough fight. AJ was trying to G himself up and talk himself confident. You see, when you've been dropped multiple times and you're getting hurt every round, you can easily become demoralized and resign yourself to defeat. You have to somehow find a way to convince yourself that you're still better than your opponent. Some fighters in AJ's situation would have taken a knee and sat out the count, quit in the corner, or just ran around the ring and tried to survive for 12 rounds. But AJ was actually still trying to win, right to the bitter end. And you could see the defiant look on his face in the opening moments of the fifth. He was gesturing to the crowd and so on. This was in stark contrast to the seventh round of the first Ruiz fight, where he looked psychologically broken. There was no defiant look on his face at all. I don't think AJ expected to have a tough fight against Ruiz, which is why he looked so shocked during the fight. Whereas I think he went into the Dubois fight having prepared himself mentally for a tough struggle. I think that's why at the weigh-in, he asked the audience to pray for him. I think that was a reflection of the fact that he knew that this could be an extremely tough fight. And so when it turned out to be exactly that, he wasn't shocked this time. He was then better able to keep his mind focused on trying to win the fight. And as I say, that requires a defiant mentality. A great example was when Floyd Mayweather got badly hurt in the second round against Shane Mosley. His legs were all over the place. But just have a look at Floyd's body language and facial expression during that moment. He was shaking his head and sneering at Mosley, as if to say, you're not better than me. You ain't knocking me out. You're nobody. I'm in command of this situation. I'm still the man here. But of course, keeping your morale high is only one part of the battle. That alone is not going to secure you victory necessarily. Floyd Mayweather has a level of skill and ring IQ that Anthony Joshua does not have. You see, a trainer is never going to be able to prepare you for every single scenario in a boxing ring. There are too many variables. Therefore, you're going to need a certain degree of intuition. And this is an area where AJ has always been lacking. He's the kind of fighter who's lost without instructions. If he hasn't been taught how to do something, then he can't figure it out by himself. And that's what often separates the good fighters from the great fighters. The great fighters are more intuitive. They can make the right adjustments on the fly without instruction. In fact, one thing that Ben Davison kept telling AJ is that his body language looked timid. It did not look threatening. And to a fighter like Daniel Dubois, that's like a red flag to a bull. He's looking for any sign of weakness. The best fighters know how to bluff their way out of certain situations. So to tie it all up then, AJ listened to Davison's advice and showed more positive body language at the start of the fifth round. Landed a big jab, simultaneous to Dubois landing his own, and that caused Dubois to stand off for a moment, which gave AJ the time and space he'd been looking for all night to finally land a clean right hand on Dubois's chin. And of course we know, when AJ went in for the kill, he overestimated how hurt Dubois was and completely forgot about defense. His situational awareness was poor and it undid his best moment in the fight literally seconds later. But as I say, in terms of fighting spirit and defiance under pressure, AJ actually showed some improvement from the Ruiz fight and he can be proud of that. However, as I said in a previous video, I think he needs to retire. And I've never said that after any of his previous losses, but this one was far worse. It was completely one-sided. And when you consider his age and how long it took him to get any confidence back after losing to Ruiz and Usyk, yeah, it's a wrap. Time to hang him up. So those are my thoughts. Leave yours in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. It only takes a second and really helps out my channel. Also share the video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out.